Um, I'm starting to feel less optimistic that that's going to happen, but I hope it does someday. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a matter of when, I hope. Yes, Green. Uh, so I figured out a way. So you can hear me, all right, right? You can hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Good? All right. So I get you in the studio, if you haven't noticed by the scenery. Yeah. No. Um, so I'm also trying to screen us to... Uh, go to Facebook as well same time mm-hmm. that's what I'm trying to work out right I assume you can hear me all right yeah 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 I was just concerned I was making sure there's no feedback going back and forth into the uh to the thing Let's see Let's see full screen so just do something. Right there. Right here. Let's see. That feels good. Put that right in the corner. That's pretty. Uh, all right, I'm going to go live on Facebook right now. And then uh, we'll go from there. We'll see if that works. Yeah. Been, uh, I spent the most of the day hooking the studio up. It's coming good. The green screen's coming in a couple of days behind me. Mm. So, uh,. You be sitting in those seats right there. Your mic's all set up, ready to go. Um, we got the lights in the room. Uh, right. It'll be quite dandy as soon as one of these days. One of these days, yeah. <laughs> We're out of quarantine. All right. Let's see, it says I'm live. Let's see what we're seeing. <coughs> screen all right i can hear you that's good it's a good sign i feel like a pilot with this thing on with, it, with what i have on because i have the mic right here in my headset so i feel like i'm like in a helicopter <laughs> i got your traffic report right here on the nines traffic guy. <laughs> See. up in the helicopter uh, on the video. let me try this again so I get the I get the, the concept of it going on here. It's just the the fact of the matter. It's not sharing the screen. I want to share the screen because it could actually look good if you if you were in. We had both in the screen. It's being kind of goofy. Here. I had to make a phone call off myself today to uh, test the uh, the Skype to see if I can get it going on the thing. Ah, it worked out good. Good. Let's see. All right, so we might not. We're definitely gonna get your audio on Facebook. We may not get your uh, video on that's Facebook. Fine. That, that's fine. That's totally fine. <laughs> we'll work on it. It's all right. Might get lucky. Eh. No one needs to see this face right now. <laughs> We're in a fucking bomb shelter. Come on. It's funny. It's like I haven't uh shaved or anything in the last uh, few weeks. It's letting the beard grow, you know? 
I know. Look at you. I know. I know you hate beards. I know you gave up last time. <clears throat> yeah. I, uh, I think why bother eh, at this point? All right. Hygiene. Who cares? Right. It's amazing how fast the body can get smelly. Like I went like a, like two days without showering because I wasn't around anybody. Who gives a shit? And then I'm like, I started to get repulsed by myself. I was like, ugh. Yeah, I, today I was sitting there at work. And I was I'm sitting there on, on my desk at doing work, and I was like, yeah, I think it's probably time for a shower. Just yeah. Like, you know, at least I could do. Eight thirty. All right, let me start there. Yeah. Okay, it's so easy to chat, we can do it. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go live on Facebook in two seconds. So now we're live again on Facebook, in case you're wondering. Uh, and let's see. Let me make sure. We are live on Facebook, and we'll start the show. If you're just tuning in on Facebook, we'll be starting the show in a few minutes. We have Adam here. Can't hey. See, or may not be able to see him. Hey. Hear him. Oh, yeah. Hear him ready to I, go, you know? I'm, I'm your conscience. Yeah. He's floating there. So we're going we're to be able to use this uh, setup when we do, um, you can have people call in and stuff, too. It's <laughs> Nice. Do, do, do. Uh, let's do one more. All right, right, all right. Let's, let's stop the show. Should be able to hear the. Uh, you're gonna be able to hear the theme song too, I think. So. Let's give mm. it. Yeah. All right, everybody. It's the ID84 show live from our quarantine locations. Me and Wes Newby, Adam the Mallet, in the Wooborn area <clears> of the <throat> part of Boston. It's episode 125. We bring to you this show via Skype. Yeah. yeah another week. Another week, another day, it's another our, month. It's our third show like this. Yeah. Show. It's the third show in quarantine, um, and essentially, basically, what's going to happen is uh, we will be doing this until we get the okay to uh, not to see each other, to be in the same presence, if you will, right? Is that the mm-hmm. idea? Mm-hmm. When that when that will happen, I do not know, but um, at least not another month. <laughs> yeah, at least another month, yeah. So uh, what you're seeing right now is a little bit different than last week. We we got the studio built. Um, this is where I'll be sitting. Adam will someday be sitting over here, and there is his mic. Uh, we will the green screen will be set up so we could be anywhere. We could be in uh, New York. We could be in Paris. We could be in the moon. So um, yeah, and then we're gonna be able to bring guests in. Guests can call in and Skype into us, and uh, everything's gonna be live over Facebook. As you hear now, we we'll see now, and uh, we're recording via iTunes and all that stuff. So, uh, uh, Artie, is there a, is there a road on the other side of that window close by that goes by there? There is, yeah. Why? I don't know, because I saw a light shoot across. It must have been a headlight or something. Because I was like, why is there? Yeah, that's actually the main road right behind me. Uh, it's, okay, uh, gotcha. <clears throat> the, the window is a blessing and a curse because uh, I was doing a show. I was trying to today. I went live for about 15 minutes to kind of test the system out, and uh, when I did so. It was so bright and sunny out that the uh, it made everything else in the room seem freaking dark. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. But, you know, it is what it's it funny. is. Earlier today, I was thinking, what the hell are you and me going to talk about today? I, I can't think of anything good to talk about because nothing's going on. Like, everyone's yeah. life is on pause. I'm sick of talking about the damn coronavirus. That's what all everyone's talking That's all we can talk about because it's all on everybody's mind. And I'm just like – what the fuck can we talk about for for an hour? I have no fucking idea. Well, you don't have. <laughs> do you? Are you coronalist? Are you coronalist as of now? 
No, at least not that I know of. But like, let, let me tell you about my human interactions today. Just face to face interactions. We're talking people interactions, not like this on video or anything like that. All right, ready? Yep. I went from my walk to Dunkin' Donuts. A bum said I looked like Edward Snowden, and that he read about me in a magazine. The coffee woman said that'll be two eighty five. Here you go. That was it. That's it, huh? That's that's all my human face to face interactions today. You're a brave man, go still going to Dunkin' Donuts and stuff. I I, I couldn't even do that. Hmm. I don't even want to interact with people. Got out of my coffee. I went to. Uh, I've been ordering, trying for the last three days to order from Amazon Prime, nothing. From Instacart, nothing. From Peapod, nothing. They're, they're backed up because everyone's ordering to the house. So there's a little grocery store down the street. And um, I figure the best time to go is around like noontime on a Monday. There'll barely be anyone there. So sure enough, there wasn't. There was barely anyone there. So they put a plexiglass thing around the cashier. So you can't even like go near them. And then there's like six feet marks and everything. So I'm like diving around corners trying to get stuff and everything. And then this is mom and the two kids I want to smack. They were not um, respecting the six foot boundary. They were up my ass the entire. I was literally running down aisles and dodging these people so that I could not have to interfere with them. So I don't know. Did you know what else is backed up? That's what Eric says. I don't know what else is backed up. I don't know what that means. I don't, I don't know if we were talking about anything we have backed up. Where were we? Is that a con- is that a constipation thing? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, so I didn't really want to encounter anyone in the grocery store. Then I brought all my groceries home, and I sprayed them down with lice. So Eric said his nuts are backed up. I don't <laughs> in case you're wondering. <laughs> There's a way to relieve that, you know? <laughs> yeah, a little jerky jerky. Right? You got to do yeah. what you got to do. Uh, I'm sure a porn hub right now with everyone being oh, quarantined with red tube is probably off the pachisis right now. Everyone that brother is probably uh, porn hubbing it up, you know? Oh, definitely. Yeah, those are all probably internet traffic just in general is uh yeah. is up there for sure. Yeah, I mean, I I know in some countries they were uh, limiting the bandwidth to their uh their YouTube and like Netflix and stuff like that. If you did that in the United States, there'd be a fucking riot. I think. I don't think you could even pull that off. You know what I mean? Well, legally you can now because of that bill that passed. Remember, they got rid of the uh, internet. Uh, they can they, they can control it now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. Eric sees his parents' house and there's no one he can go. Just go in the backyard when it's dark out. Just give it a little jerk behind the shed. Yeah. He's, not his own room. He's not in his own room. I mean, well, there's like a bunch of people over there. So like, even if you had a little bit of silence, I mean, there's a, the chances are someone's going to come in and knock on the door and cause it. You're going to hear the, the sound of one hand clapping. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so I've, I've limited my. So I've, other than the grocery store the other day, which I was scared shitless, it was the first time I went into a store in two weeks. Yeah, I, felt not, like, I felt like it was yeah. the apocalypse, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I feel like the grocery store has gotten better. I, last week it was fine. I, I mean, it was still people with masks on and stuff, but I don't really care. I, I just don't. I'm, I know I'm, I'm healthy enough where it would – not necessarily I don't. I just, I'm not saying I necessarily want it, but it is being overhyped, and it's not – for people in our age bracket, it would suck. It's. I'm not saying it would be a walk in the park, but we'd be fine. You'd be fine. You know, you have a kid, though, so it's more for you. I would understand it's more concerning. You know, well, that's, that's why I'm working from home for the next uh, well, at least for the week until more. I mean, I I because my I literally as each day went by for the last three weeks, I was limiting myself to the interaction of less and less humans. So basically, the only humans I'm in actual contact with is Sue, Henry and my parents. So I limited the I limited down to four human other four other human beings in which I can actually associate with myself and now out of those four human beings henry's only with my mother and father and sue so he has the same interaction as i do uh, my mother is only interaction so everyone's interaction is basically <laughs> the same because my father doesn't see anyone at work now because they can't go into any places to do stuff so they're just on call kind of thing um yeah. so the five of us have no other interaction with each other other than the five of us so if one of us gets corona that means one of us strayed like <laughs> limit it down who was or, it? Yeah, or it could be in the air. They say that it can be in the air, too. They don't know. Yeah, that's why I was holding my breath the entire time I was in the supermarket. I didn't want to breathe anything in. <laughs> uh, that sucks, man. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what are we going to do? I mean, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm not running out of things to do. Luckily, uh, I, I've, I've still got a lot of to do in the studio, which actually, it's actually good because 
it won't be half-assed. It'll actually be done correctly. So I'm actually wiring things right, and everything's nice and neat. And I get the so the mixer board. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there in front of me, and it's yeah. a six or uh, eight-channel mixer. So I can actually have so you're in channel three, which is Skype. Um, so when people call in, that's how they call in. Uh, me and you are mic one and two on this on mic on uh, channel four. It's another computer, so we can actually play clips and mm. you can hear them. <clears throat> So the only thing that's really going to change is that you're going to have to wear headphones from now on when we do the show. So I got a wire running to your your seat where you plug your headphones in, so that way right. you can hear people on the phone. Yeah. So, but, uh, I mean, it's pretty much the same, but I got to get like, in the camera. You might have a lot to do, but like I know for me, it's like a body in motion stays in motion, and like I just don't want to do anything now because I haven't been doing anything, so I don't want to do anything. I just I just I just feel less motivated because I haven't been moving around as much. Yeah. So I'm just like, ah, I'm just lay there and watch a movie or whatever. It's horrible. How about the potato? How's the potato going? It's just editing. But like I said, I'm not promoting anything. I'm, stuff might trickle out, but no one's really, it's not like, people are more, people might tune into things, but they're not focused. They don't really care right now. Yeah. And, and that's understandable. There's a lot going on in the world. Like they, they really shouldn't be watching my channel or anybody else. I mean, I can understand totally wanting a distraction, but at the same time, like you're just, everyone's mind is just in other places. No one's paying attention. Are you, you know? getting, uh, are, you, are you seeing more likes coming over this period of time since we uh, comments. I've had more comments, but like it's not I'm not even really focusing on it because no one I don't feel like really is. And no one should be. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's uh, a good way to get your mind off stuff, though. Yeah. yeah. Editing wise, it is. I just kind of chipping away at some editing and just whatever. But otherwise, it just sort of. Like, no, but like people too watching the video. It gives, it's like I, I went. So I watched the news in the morning and then um, I watch a little Fox News for about an hour. I'm working. And then I'll, I'll switch. I, so I started episode one of the Nomadic Fanatic from nine, from 2013. <laughs> watched okay. them all every day. Uh, <laughs> I, I get like, I don't know, about 20 episodes. in Because back in the day, he was only doing like five to ten minute episodes. Yeah. And uh, he was a real piece of shit back in the day. He's actually starting to get nicer in his newer episodes. But I, I'm literally, my goal for this quarantine is to watch every single episode of the, the Nomadic Fanatic. So... Yeah, see, uh, um, I'm just re- watching movies and cat and writing and cataloging that. So when I decide to film more stuff, I have material. That's all I'm pretty much doing right now. That's all I feel motivated to do. Yeah. Well, uh, wait. I mean, you gotta get yourself. Uh, you gotta get a hobby or something. Eric is now a priest. Did you see that? A priest. Yeah, he took his uh, priesthood for dude to dudism, priest of dudism. I so. not, I don't know what that entails, but. I don't, I don't, I don't really marry. He might be able to legally marry you in the church of do it, dudism. So I'm hoping it doesn't involve little boys. You know, but. Hey, there, little boy. Hee hee hee. Do you hear why Michael Jackson likes seeing so much? He found that little boy's pants are half off. Hee hee hee. Come here. <laughs> Come to Neverland, little boy. Do you know the uh, speaking of little boy touching? See the uh, National Boy Scouts uh, filed bankruptcy. Really? And I guess it has to do with a lot of bit of uh, covering up the kitty touching. Oh, I believe it. I mean, I always thought there was something weird about like a guy, a full grown man dressed in a Boy Scout outfit, like like the higher ups. It's kind of yeah. weird. Were you in you the know? Boy Scouts at all when you were a kid? Or? No, I wasn't. Me neither. No. I always thought the kids that were in Boy Scouts were a little off. You know? I, mean, but I, I always thought they were better than Girl Scouts because Boy Scouts do at least learn things like tying knots and shit. Like Girl Scouts, you just sold cookies. Yeah. <laughs> That's Boy Scouts did like cool activities too. Like they did like little go kart, like little model cars they raced and they like yeah. built like cool shit. But was that just to get their mind off the touching? You think? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. I just, we, we'll never know. But the uh, so the Boy Scouts of America has uh, filed bankruptcy. And the only reason I know this is because on daytime TV, these oh, lawyers are just advertising that they can help you win your lawsuit against Boy Scouts of America if need be. So, damn, something, something to think about. Anyone watching out there who is diddled by a Boy Scout, you can uh, be in a class action lawsuit, and you could uh, potentially win um, some money for being diddled. So, you know. You know it'll never go away though. Now that you know I'm I'm working like from a home on daytime television. I swear to God, Jim Sokoloff is oh, just yeah. he's never gonna go away. I feel like I've been seeing that guy on television since I was like ten. He's just never going away. So him and Noah Maki Solomon, that guy too. Yep. And uh, Feinstein, 
uh, which is Barry Feinstein and Affiliates PC. Those are the three big Boston area law firm guys. So now we get the Morgan and Morgan guy. You know, it's Morgan and Morgan. I feel like those guys don't get a lot of respect, though, for advertising on television. Like, I feel like the good ones don't have to. You know what I mean? Like, So the Morgan and Morgan scam is basically what they – so this guy Morgan and his son and his wife and his like, like the family, right? So it's the family. It's like the so Georges. What, so what they'll do is they, they do all the advertising. So they do all, like, the marketing, whatever. So you call his, you call him up, right? Pound Law, he calls, right? He goes, ah, I, I slipped in front of the 7-Eleven. So you're not actually going to represent it by those guys. What they do is they have like 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 per diem lawyers in all the states in which they practice in that they'll refer you to. So you call them up and you they give you he, you know you tell them your case and everything like that. And then what they'll do is they'll um, refer you to a local lawyer to take your case. So it could be like you know, it could be like you working out of your you could be a lawyer working out of your garage and you get like the case. You know what I mean? <laughs> And then they, and then what Morgan and Morgan makes money is they split the winnings. So say the lawyer was going to get 50% of the winnings. So yeah. Morgan and Morgan get 50% of the lawyer's winnings, the kind of thing. So they get a percentage off. They get like 25% off the top of whatever was won. So they don't literally have to do nothing. All they're doing is doing the marketing and doing the advertising. Nothing else. So they're just pointing you, the, right? point you in the direction of somebody else. That's all they're doing. That's all they did, the middleman. So instead of you blindly calling the yellow pages, you're going to call a reputable law firm like Morgan & Morgan because why would they hire people to work for them if they didn't know them personally, right? That's what you're thinking. And literally, you know, some fucking jack-in-the-box guy working out of his uh, <laughs> you know, Chevy Impala from 1989. His name plates in crayon. Yeah, that's like a piece of paper on the garage door. Keep asking to meet him at a, law, at a law firm, but he keeps deferring you to a Panera because he doesn't really have an office because he's living in his mom's basement. That old gag. We'll meet for coffee. We'll talk there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. We'll meet for coffee, all right? Coffee and a hand job. I watched... Uh, so I've been... I don't know what I've been doing lately. So I've been working during the day, and then at night I've been doing stuff around the house. So like my project this week is the studio. So I got the shelves up behind the camera i get stuff up i get the everything got the wiring tonight i'm i might just fine tune some more wiring and then tomorrow i'm going to finish up everything until the green screen comes and i'm going to hang that and then so i have a significant amount of stuff to do um to get the studio where it needs to be so that's what's keeping me occupied but I, I really wanted to sit down and watch some movies and stuff and um i just i i, I finished tiger king have you watched tiger king yet yeah, we kind of talked about it last week a little bit, yeah. Yeah, so I finally finished it. Uh, I think last week when we talked, I started it. I was like, yeah. the first episode. I got to tell you, the first episode is very hard to get through. It's very, very, it's not, it's yeah. not very entertaining, especially late at night. I fell asleep during the first episode twice. Yeah, it picks up steam, though. Yeah, so what I did was I, I moved to the second episode. And the second episode, about halfway through, starts getting a little juicy. It starts getting some uh, some good stuff, you know? And then by the time you get to the last episode, you're sitting there with your mouth open like, holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> sick, sick motherfuckers. You know? and my favorite part was the music video that he made of, the, of her like feeding the lions, his, his, the tigers, her wife, his wife. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, kitty, kitty. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. That guy's a sick fuck, huh? That, the, the woman he found to play her looked exactly like her. It was great. I thought... I, I actually thought it was her, to be honest with you. I was like, whoa, whoa. But um, what? yeah, those people are sick and twisted. Those the whole fucking the whole thing. Their whole network, it's like crazy. There are not, and there is not a piece single a single person who's not a piece of shit. But that's part of that thing. Oh, you know? absolutely. All pieces of garbage. Yeah. No, I, I've been watching Ozark. I finally got into that on Netflix. Pretty good. Oh yeah. So what's the premise of that? Cause I, I see it has um, uh, what's his name? Jason Bateman in it, right? Yeah, yeah. It, that's another show where everybody's a piece of shit. There's not a single good person on that show either. It's kind of like the, you know, kind of like The Sopranos or Breaking Bad, where the, the protagonist and the antagonist is the same person. Like it's you have to, you're kind of rooting for the bad guy. You know, it's uh, it's it's a little crazy. Yeah. Yeah, cause I, I seen a little, I seen some of the uh, previews for it. Every time I turn uh. Netflix on. I'm like, hmm, like, is this uh, something that's worth watching? Yeah, season three just just was released. I haven't I haven't gotten that far yet. I'm like halfway through season two, but it's uh, it picks up steam quite a bit. It's really good. It's a good show. Interesting. Yeah. 
But other than that, uh, no, I've just been watching uh, watched the Invisible Man. That was that was really good. That was a good movie. Is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a that was a good one. And uh, no, I've just been looking for shit to watch. Really, no. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, there's plenty out there. For me, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen a lot of things. I'm kind of really like I'm running out of shit. At least things that I want to watch anyway. I feel like I've there's things that like I just need to get around to watching. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm just kind of lost right now. I'm kind of in a haze, and there's just so much going on in life. I'm just trying to trying to keep my brain occupied still, but yeah. you know, worried. worried. And I think you know that's normal. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Right? What we're we gonna do? It's. I mean. Just can't just try not to die. That's the only thing we can do. Just don't die. Don't die on me. Don't die. <laughs> um, it's, it's very hell. Oh, it's so. I mean, it's really what's going on in this world. There's no sports to talk about. Nope. So uh, we're so, we're so fucked up. We talked about Tom Brady last week like it was breaking news, but then I went back to the episode before that and we talked. There was the day that Tom Brady decided. <laughs> but I fucking. Um, signed. It wasn't official yet. It was like the day before it became official, but it was already being leaked that he was going. He, was, he already posted the Instagram post, and then yeah. the next day he signed with the of Tampa. But we're so fucked up that I had forgotten we were talking about that because there's yeah. literally nothing to talk about, and we're literally stuck in this like wormhole of of yeah. you know? the movie. The movie box office is closed. Yeah. You know, the, uh, the, yeah. The sports is closed. Is shut down. Uh. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we should just start buying random frozen pizzas and just see what the best one is. Maybe we'll start doing that. You know? It's actually not a bad idea. Um, <laughs> it's funny that you said that because, you know, that actually would have been very helpful because yesterday I went to the grocery store and they had like some no name, no name, like frozen pizzas in there. You know, if yeah. someone had a blog in which they talked about what frozen pizzas were better. Um, I would have a better idea if it was something worth buying or not, you know? I, I will say uh, Newman's. Newman's All makes a good one. They make a good frozen pizza. Oh, yeah? Newman's All is really good. DiGiorno is okay. You know what you're getting with DiGiorno. It's all right, you know? Yeah, well, like a nice Elios, you know what I mean? Nice fucking microwave Elios. Well, I throw it in the toaster oven so it's nice and crispy, you know? Oh, you want you want like a, a toaster oven one. I don't know about those ones. It's, I'm thinking about the oven ones that you put in. But... Oh, the oven. Oven, toaster oven. Yeah, you can do the same thing. I just don't like microwave pizza. I That's like disgusting. Yeah, the, the 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 crust doesn't get crispy. If I have if I have a, a pizza that can be cooked in either the oven or the microwave, and I have a few minutes of my life, I'm gonna throw it in the oven, hands down. Yeah, I mean you've had a DiGiorno, you've had DiGiorno, I'm sure. That's like the, that's yeah, fine. It's nothing great. That's all right. I don't like Red Baron. Red Baron's gross. I think it's just too salty. I don't like it. How about Celeste? You like the like the one dollar Celeste? Uh, oh God, I haven't had one of those in a long time. They're like ninety nine cents, you know. It's like it's probably. I don't, have you ever had Little Caesars? Oh no, yeah. Once in my life, it was fucking disgusting. Yeah. I mean, what do you want for like three bucks? If for what the for the price, it was fine. I've had one in that one before, but that was okay. It wasn't. I wouldn't get it like if there were other options, but I wouldn't turn it down. You know? The only time I have a Little Caesars, that's a story for you. It was uh, 2006, and uh, 2006. I just got off probation, so I was heading down to Florida with one of my exes back in the day, and we went to Key West. And uh, so we're in Key West, we're out all day, and this is before Uber and everything. We had to take a cab from where our hotel was to like Duval Street and all that, and uh, we're starving. We had I didn't know what to eat, so we ordered a Little Caesars. It was the only pizza place that would deliver it in the area. It like it was like tasting a rubber boot. It was horrific, absolutely disgusting. I will say though, I think the worst fast food I've ever had in my life. I was with you actually. It was yeah. at Crystal Burger. That oh, God place sucked that was the worst but it was so late and i was so hungry that like it was fine but that place was horrible that was disgusting crystal burger was essentially uh it's white castle it's the same exact company they make the same exact burgers and the burger had like it was fucking that mustard and like the, the onions on it oh. yeah, the sliders and the, the meat was just gross it was like rat meat it was just disgusting it was, ugh. it's like what the, the kids were eating in wu-tang wu-tang over there they got the uh coronavirus started yeah. over there it's basically what it tasted like it was bat. That's what it was. It was bat meat. <laughs> I, I I was so fucking hungry too, especially after an adventure we went on that night, that uh, I couldn't eat anything, and I, I couldn't even. I, I I ordered four of them. I barely got one down. I think I brought the the rest back to Maddie to eat. Yeah, I think you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah. It was, it was, 
It was. It was. That was. I'm pretty sure, without a doubt, that is the worst fast food I've ever had in my life. Hmm. Yeah, I would never suggest anyone to eat that. It was the absolute crap. I think they're Bonk. still. Go- I think they're gone. I don't think crystals are on. I think they are. Uh, they're gone now. You think so? I thought I read something that they were. They filed for bankruptcy or something. I don't okay. know. But- I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, like, listen, it was not good. Not good at all. No. It's like a fucking oh. rubber shoe. Although you can buy the White Castle burgers in the freezer at Stop and Shop. I don't know how that goes when you cook them here. Would you ever do that? I'm thinking about it. They're like four bucks. I was thinking about it the other day just out of curiosity to see what it's like. Because I'd probably throw them out, though. But I mean, yeah, they are wicked cheap. I mean, ugh. But, ugh. I mean, maybe they're better when you take you cook them at home. I don't know. I'll find out. Might, maybe might as well. I got nothing else to do. Yeah. Yeah. So you still, you're, you're down to four days right now? Yeah, Friday off. So you're still actively working, so like, but I mean, you're working, and I'm using that word, you know, very, you know, uh, still working, yeah. very liberally, you know what I mean? Yeah. This I'm not like getting a, paid Friday though, but yeah. You don't get to work though, right? Yeah, I don't have to work. So what are you gonna do Friday? You're just gonna fucking strip down just to nothing, not, and walk around the house. Not, what I do Saturday, what I do Sunday, and pretty much every other day. Yeah, maybe I'll go for a hike. I'm definitely gonna go for a hike though. If it's nice out, maybe go yeah. for a nice walk, but uh. Yeah, there's nothing open. And it's sad, too. I was going for my coffee this morning. I noticed that I was walking and I noticed that some of the places that, you know, they have the food that, that are restaurants here. Uh, one place is being gutted out because they just can't stay open. Obviously, they're not going to be able to weather the storm. So they just admitted oh. defeat. Uh, it's going to be a great time to buy a bar in about three months because there are going to be so many for sale. This is my this might be the time where I actually buy my bar I want. This might be I might be able to take advantage of the market here and buy my dream bar. You know, mm, we'll see. Maybe we'll see if we survive. You know, we could all just die. I I don't know what to listen to. Like I, I'm listening to the news, and obviously the news over dramatizes everything, right? So yeah, it's like freak out. Yeah, they're not gonna actually give you a clear, good, reasonable um, justification of anything, right? They're gonna scare the fuck out of you. So that's all they do. It's scare the shit out of you. Yeah. It was actually it's weird. Um, so. Friday, I got home from work, and I got to the house, and I, the first time I left, I went out, the only time I've been outside is to either take the barrels, take the garbage out, or take the dogs out, and I literally only leave a probably 10 feet from my front door, so I'm literally never leave my property line, so for yeah. consecutive days, I was on, I was on, in the house, or in the property, and then I went to the grocery store, which is literally a half mile down the road. So I didn't really leave too far. So it's uh, it's kind of interesting. You know, not like I thought I would be losing my mind. I'm actually maybe it's because I'm like I was so go, go, go like all the time that like I'm actually enjoying not doing anything. It's actually Dude, you're, uh, your life is kind of just normal now. You're not isolated at all. You still drive to work. You still interact with people. You're still no, interacting. I'm working, I'm, working, I'm working from home now this week. Oh, that's what well, it started this week. Oh, yeah, for the first couple of weeks, it's great. It was awesome. I loved the first couple of weeks. I would love to do that all over again. But right now, I'm, I'm reaching a point where I'm like, I need to interact a little bit here. You know, I, uh, like I said, I, uh, my interactions before we started recording this, I was saying how, you know, was the only face-to-face interactions I have had all day was I was walking to the, get my coffee. A guy said I looked like Edward Snowden. And then he said, I read about you in a magazine. And I laughed. And then I went to Dunkin' Donuts, and the woman was like, that'll be two eighty five, And I gave her $3, and she said, here's your change. Here's your coffee. So Bye. Ed, Ed Snow is dead, isn't he? Isn't he no, the he's guy? in Russia. He was uh, WikiLeaks, right? Yeah. He's the one who leaked all the documents, yeah. He's not he dead. Ran like a little he no. no, he's living in Russia. Oh. He was, he was on uh, Joe Rogan, actually, uh, maybe about three, four months ago. Yeah. yeah. He's a piece of shit. You should have told him, be like, I am Snowden. He's a piece of shit. I, you know what? I would have actually said he's a, I would have called him a patriot if he didn't run like a little bitch after he leaked the documents. But like he did that and ran. So it's, I feel like, dude, if you did that and stood up and, and like took it like a man, I'd be like, you know what? Good for you. But you did that and then you ran. You would have you know? died. They would have killed him. Probably, but it would have made a martyr of him. He should have fucking at least he should have thought about that before they <laughs> have documents. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, but anyone who deals with Hillary Clinton ends up dying. You know that that uh, whole 
connection, right? I think she has 50 people associated with her that were supposed to testify or do something against her. They just end up mysteriously dead. Oh, no, really? Man, yeah. I never heard that. Before. Well, if you're bored, because you have a lot of spare time in your hand, you should Google deaths related to Hil- deaths related to the Clintons. And there is a, over the course of the last 20 years, any person that was supposed to like testify against them or had information about them or anything like that, they like somehow like would die in a plane crash, got struck by lightning, got hit by a car, died from uh, poison. It's like really fucking bizarre ways of dying. You know what I mean? Yeah, we'll see. I'll look into it. Sure. They, they even connected it to JFK Jr. crashing his airplane. Of course. <laughs> Why not? Because he was going to run for senator of New York, and Hillary was going to run for senator, and she figures the only way that I could win is I get rid of JFK Jr., because JFK Jr. would have won. Uh, yeah, well, she ran against other people, too, I'm sure, in her life who didn't die. But, <laughs> like, you know. Uh, funny that you said that. Look at the list of people. <laughs> I'll, I'll look into it it's probably not as bad as people put it out to be but I'll look into it yeah. uh, about 75 people who related to her de- who died 75 okay yeah. uh, we're talking like directly knew her or not like knew Bill we're talking like either or either or but the Clintons in general okay we'll see does Chelsea she's, count too no she's just a, a lesbian whore I think I don't know what she does for a living probably she looks like a she looks like some kind of crossbreed of a cow and a horse. I don't know what she looks like. She's weird looking. She's not married. You know, she is married. She married some dude. I guess she's she, she I guess she's not a lesbian, but I never found her very attractive. You know what I mean? I think she missed the it. Uh, you know, it's like at least the Bush twins were attractive. You know. Dude, you know who I find completely terrifying to look at is uh, what's his name? Uh, Ivanka Trump's uh, um, uh, husband Kushner. Cash Kushner is that his name? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude, he's a creepy-looking motherfucker. Dude, that guy is terrifying-looking. He looks like I a wheezy even... little fuck, doesn't he? He does. He looks creepy. He's creepy. I, I'll send you a photo later. He just looks, like, completely terrifying. I can't look at him. The type he's, of like, guy... he's evil. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to trust that guy. That guy would be, like, he looks very, very, very shifty, if you will, right? Fucking evil. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> but Ivanka's pretty good-looking, huh? She's not bad. I would kick her out of bed. She's not bad. Yeah. She's just. Uh... I mean, her mother's a former Miss. Uh, I think her a former Miss something. Miss, you know, Yugoslavia or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Is like was that Trump's second wife? He's on his third wife now. Is this third? Yeah. You know she wants to. You know she's counting down the days so she can divorce him. You can just see the look on her face. She wants out. <laughs> I think she's in for the long run. I, I think she's thinking. You know. You know, presidency takes about 10 years off your life. So, I mean, how many good years does he have left after this is all said and done? And you, you got to admit, though, right? What woman wouldn't like the power of being the first lady, you know? No, I, well, she's not going to divorce him now. But I feel like what well, she's counting down the days for this whole thing to be over so she can write divorce him and write a book. Like, <laughs> I mean, but like any lady who's in the White House, like, I mean, you're like the top bitch of the country, right? Like, who's going to mess with you? You know, you can do whatever you want, you know? Yeah. Oh, you know who I hate more than anybody though is uh, Meghan Markle. You know Prince Harry's wife, the oh, failed oh, actress. Oh, oh, oh. not Prince Old anymore. Digger. He's officially not a prince anymore. Yeah, that's right. He's not, they had to get rid of their 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 duchess or whatever the hell. Dude, I can't stand her. I've never seen someone who's such an obvious gold digger in my life who's trying yeah. to get back into acting. That has to be some magical vagina. I'm gonna tell I you. What. Because <laughs> if you're a fucking prince, right? You're a prince. And you meet a girl who talks you out of not being a prince no more. That's some magical vagina right there. Like, what well, did she say to him to make him be like, oh, yeah, I don't want to be a prince anymore. Who doesn't want to be a prince anymore? I've thought about this, okay? Well, first of all, that's what women do. They infiltrate and then make you think ideas were yours when they were really theirs, and they break up the band. They're Yokos. All women are potential Yokos. Okay. All right, but some of them... <laughs> it shows more than others. It comes out more than others. They all have it embedded in their DNA, but some don't use it as much. Yeah. But Megan is is a perfect example, right? So I think what happened was Harry, you know, he could have anybody he wanted. He could have had, I don't know, he could have had freaking, um, what the fuck is the name? Uh, um, I was just trying to think of a good example. It doesn't matter. Any woman in Hollywood, he could. Brittany, um, yeah, or Margot Robbie. Let's go with Margot Robbie, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, he could have had anybody, right? Mar- Margot Robbie. But you know what? He's probably so used to in his life women like these 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 missionary women, missionary position only women who are boring, <laughs> who are like, "What do you want to do, Harry? What do you want to yeah. do?" Right? And like trying to let him get what he wants, and he it probably got boring. And then Megan comes along, who's probably great in the sack, 
right? But she's a failed actress, right? Probably is like, you know, smack my ass, whatever. And is like kind of a take charge kind of woman. And he probably found it kind of a turn on because he's so used to the other thing. But he got roped in and it was too late. And then, then she, he, he put, he pumped the kid in her. He can't yeah. back out now. Right. And now she's running the show. She's controlling everything already. It is ridiculous. She talked <laughs> out of not being a prince no more. Did you see the video of uh, the guy, Iger, the, uh, the Disney guy? He was at like a fundraiser that Harry and her were at. He's like, hey, did you know Megan can do voiceovers? And he's oh. like, oh, I didn't know that. Like he's like trying to like help her get her career going again and shit. I don't know. She must have something on him. It's ridiculous. I mean, she's like a B, B maybe C actress, right? She was like in, she was in a couple yeah. of regular sitcom, like uh, like drama oh, shows, yeah. right? Yeah, she was like on a TNT or TBS show or something like that. Yeah, she's she's not going to be anybody. She hasn't she learned? She's going to be like the next Kim Kardashian at most. She's going to be famous for doing nothing because no one's going to want her because she's too old. She's too well, old now. Well, maybe Harry didn't want to be a prince anymore. He needed a trap queen. Maybe. You know? Maybe he just needed an excuse to. I mean, because listen, face it, right? He could have had any movie star or celebrity, any A list or he wanted to, right? I mean, he could literally go down the line. And I would say nine out of ten, any celebrities, if you're prince, a prince, and he's even the better looking of the of the guys, right? He's like the the, the second, the second, you know, second chair, right? Yeah. But anyways, he's still a fucking prince, you know. He could be fat and like, you know, overweight and with acne and going bald, right? And he'd still pick up a broad, right? So, yeah, so he could get anyone he wants, but he settles with like a a, a C to a B list, you know, not bad looking. You know, American girl. Now, was he doing this to piss off his grandmother? Oh, was no. he doing this just to get out of it? He needed an excuse to get out. You know, and sometimes you like you, you need like you want to get out, but you need you need to justify getting out. So his is his justification of getting out. You know, so it's like I don't know. But like even the writings on the wall with her, her whole family's a bunch of losers. Yeah, like, her whole family sucks, right? And like she was already married once. Her, her dad even I mean her dad's a piece of shit too, but he was like she's broken up everybody she's been with. She's broken up. She'll break up the band. You know, she's yeah. she's, she's you know, I, someone on, on MSNBC called her five clicks above trailer trash. I would go with that. <laughs> I mean, she probably is. I mean, if she wasn't half good looking, she probably would never made Hollywood, you know what I mean? Yeah. You got to remember, you know, I and I, I and this is a proof. I'm not I'm not even making a statement. It's a proof of fact. Most of the most of the people in Hollywood, men and women, the reason they get the roles they do is because they're doing some side stuff. And the proof of the pudding is Harvey Weinstein. Oh, yeah. I mean, so if you're not willing to, uh, you know, do a little uh, naughty naughty on the side, you're probably not going to get a role. You know, and oh. it just was proven about how many actresses didn't get roles after they Harvey approached them. Right. And he's only one of, a, you know, a handful of producers. Right. That they hold the key in your car. So if you're going down on Harvey, you're going to get any movie you want, even if you're not that good. You know what I mean? I'm convinced Mark Wahlberg did some really shady gay shit. Oh, I, I am convinced. Absolutely. I understand how a guy who would walk around in his underpants, you know, sing and feel the vibration, a has-been rapper, can become an A-lister. I, there's no fucking way. And he's not even – he's he's a decent actor, but he's not, like, phenomenal. He's never going to win an Academy Award, okay? Like – <laughs> yeah, he's like uh, you, you, you hit the nail on the head. He's a decent actor. I mean, he the acting he could do, you and I could probably do if we read if we were polished a little bit more. You know what I mean? He's not doing yeah. anything catastrophic. That's really you know groundbreaking. And he, I agree, he definitely did some he did some questionable stuff. He had to because he was doing good. But first of all, he was kicked out of New Kids on the Block, so they kicked yeah. him out. And then he was doing he had the one hit wonder of Feel the Vibrate. Can you name another Mocky Mock song? No, that's all he had. Also, he did jail time. Remember, he he blinded a Vietnamese guy. Oh yeah, he punched. Yeah, he beat the shit out of some guy for no reason whatsoever. And then, him. Yeah, and then um, never said sorry, piece of shit. And then he um, yeah, and then he he goes into acting. What's the first movie that you remember that he was in? That I can't, I'm trying to recall. Like, I, I think it was. I remember him in Fear. Okay. He did yeah. a movie called Fear, and then it was Boogie. Boogie Nights is what did it though. That's what brought him, uh, him on the put him up there. See, Boogie Nights was a great movie. Yeah, I like Boogie Nights. But his acting didn't make the movie. I think that movie was all Burt Reynolds and um, Chiva. What's his face? The the black oh, cowboy guy. Uh, oh, uh, was that Don Cheadle? Yeah, Don Cheadle. That's it. Yeah. yeah. And then yes, yeah, Philip Seymour Hoffman was in there. Yeah. And then um, Burt Burt Reynolds stole that movie. And uh, Julian Moore. Yeah, he had a great cast. A great surrounding oh, 
all Donnie Wahlberg did was play a guy that, you know, is an insecure, you know, didn't act very well porn star who wanted to get in the business. And then he was in the jerking off in the parking lot to some dudes and he got his ass kicked. I mean, that <laughs> pretty much sums up uh, Donnie Wahlberg. I mean, Mark Wahlberg. Did I say Donnie? I meant Mark Wahlberg. I think yeah. Donnie's, a, Donnie's a better actor than Mark, right? He's not bad. I don't mind. He's on uh, blue. Was it blue chips and uh, yeah, blue, so, yeah. blue bloods, blue bloods, blue right? bloods. Yeah, yeah, blue chips and movies. Yeah. Tom Brady's baby mama's in that show too. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Adam, I just want to interrupt you real quick. Guess who is watching us right now? Um, who's been missing for the last few weeks, but he's finally back. Is it? Is it Alex Wallace? You nailed, nailed it. It's Al- Alex. <laughs> Motherfucking Wallace. Alex motherfucking Wallace. A.K.A. Maddie Monaco. Uh, uh, Dan's back in town here. I'm telling you. Everyone's back in town. I feel like our group text is even quiet. Like nobody, everyone's just kind of still like. (laughs) It's funny. Eric doesn't respond in the group text. He responds like separately in text. He's got a new number. So like he'll like he'll like he he's seen the group checks because he's seen my HBO Go text today, right? Yeah. But he responded to something on the side. Yeah. Then, uh, you know, today was Big Mike's birthday. You know, Mike Big Mike gained forty pounds during this quarantine. So that that McDonald's documentary is like uh, it's it's I haven't finished it. I've watched the first. It's just, it's just drawn out. Yeah. Like it, it starts off really good, and then it's like, how many episodes are you gonna freaking draw this out? I heard there's yeah. some questionable characters in that uh, documentary as much as uh, Tiger King, right? Uh, yeah, I would say so. I don't. I have been mooching off an, X, an HBO Go account too. Sorry, buddy. I'd let you. I'd let you have it if I if it was mine, but uh, I do not have one. Yeah. Um, yeah not... <clears throat> I'll figure this quarantine out. <laughs> I mean, that's the only real thing I don't have access to. I think of all the, like, streaming sources, like, I have Showtime, I have Netflix, I have Prime, I have uh, Hulu. Yeah, I have all these options, except the HBO Go is the only one I don't have. So and the only really thing I want to watch is that, um, I guess I could probably find it somewhere bootlegged on the internet. Somewhere. Yeah. I dig deep enough, I could probably find pieces of it. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean. It's, it's it's we're running out of so I've been ca- I, I caught up on a li- million million little things so that so it's a show that me and Sue watched it's about this guy that killed himself and it's a group of friends that no one seems to be working it's kind of very like odd right did I lose you are you there yeah I'm here sorry I hit a button oh I was gonna say I lost you I was like where'd the video go um so see you. We, it, it, Wait, like, started, can you see me I can see you can you see me yeah. no no you see my icon what the hell yeah, I just see a little dude. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are you naked? Are you getting your clothes off for, like, naked? There you are. You wish. <laughs> <laughs> naked for a second. You're like, yeah, sense it, sense it. <clears throat> um, so we we watched all the Million Little Things last season, and it started up in September, and I didn't start watching it until uh, January, and I was able to catch up on all 20 episodes, including the season finale, uh, in a matter of four weeks. So I did that. <laughs> um, I'm now watching Southern Charm. Did you watch that show at all? No. So it's basically like um, Housewives, stuff's given city, but it takes place in Charleston, South Carolina. It's a bunch of rich, bratty kids who are like in their like 30s who have a lot of money and don't seem to work as well. Um, Sue's pick. <laughs> yeah, but it's actually like it's like trashy TV. It's like addicted to watch. I don't know why. Yeah. It's a lot of turns, a lot of lot of twists and turns, if you will. Ne- I mean, Netflix. Sorry, Ed. Sorry. Oh yeah, what you say? Yeah. No, Netflix has like a dating show where it's like you don't get to see. Get this. Okay. What could go wrong with this? You don't see the person. And through that, just talking to them through a wall, you, you determine if you're going to marry them. Oh, it's like uh, like married at first sight or. Yeah, but there's no sight. <laughs> ABC has a very similar show. It's you meet a person for the first time and you dance with them. It's, oh. like, it's called Married at First Dance. And then they have one called Married at First. Um, oh God, what are they doing? They they have to do something together. Oh, music, Married at First song. So these people don't know each other, and they come out and sing a duet together, and start dating. Yeah, they're okay. really, really stretching. The marriage thing with things. Yeah. Right. Really, yeah. 
Married while swimming. Everyone jump in a pool and grab married, somebody. Married at first BJ. Imagine that one. <laughs> I can't see that face. No, that one would be a – you know what, though? The whoever gives the best BJ, don't marry them because I guarantee they're fat. <laughs> so is that, that, well, that's not very nice. Does that mean a fat girl doesn't make a good wife? <laughs> no, but hey, you gotta find some middle ground here, man. You gotta find you gotta find some like you can't have a walrus, but at the same time, you don't want like you gotta find like a middle ground. You, you gotta have a balance of of you know you, you can sacrifice some attraction for yeah. for other good things. You know what I mean? You can't have too much of one or the other. That's what I'm saying. You know. So that you wouldn't marry a girl just because she gives a good BJ. No, well, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't marry anybody based on like just without knowing them in general. But I'm just talking hypotheticals here. The worst part is if you get in the BJ and you feel like the brushing of a mustache against your like lower stomach. Uh, oh God, <laughs> I'm going with. I'm, I'm just going with. You have a gun to my head and I have to participate. Well, who do I pick? You know, and you're sitting there and you're like, I don't remember reading the contract saying it had to be a woman. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big giant uh tom uh who's the guy macgyver i mean a uh, macgyver uh uh hawaii 50 a uh, tom Selleck, a big tom Selleck mustache brushing against your <laughs> <little> stomach <laughs> what if you call braces scrape them <laughs> uh, i mean i, I mean it's like oh, yeah it's a little rough i guess right that's right i would imagine so uh, nothing like nothing like a broke broken uh brace uh wire poking into your scrotum right oh god <laughs> Oh man, that'd be horrible. Nothing, Ugh. nothing says danger like a mouthful of metal, you know. True. Did you ever have braces as a kid? Yeah, my mouth was a mess. I had extra adult teeth. My oh. my teeth were all over the place. I had them for two years. I remember the first week I had them. You know they give you the list of shit you shouldn't eat. Yeah. Well, I got mine on. It was January of 1997, and I remember the date precisely because that's when they re-released the Star Wars movies into the movie theaters, like the remastered yeah. ones. And I went to go see A New Hope, and uh, stupid me decides I'm gonna get popcorn and milk duds with the first oh. one, and I, I destroyed the wire. The wire, I mean, the wire broke. I had a, it was the wire was so jagged in my mouth that I couldn't survive until I went to the dentist. I had to get a pair of a wire cutters and actually cut the wire myself. I'm so- it, I'm surprised you got that far to eat them because didn't it wasn't your mouth extremely sore just from having something new like your teeth well, in it sore to eat? It, I should tell you it probably wasn't exactly a week after. It was at the point okay. of time in which I could actually chew again. So it was so I was yeah so maybe a week or two. It was uh, very so it was like my mouth was very now comfortable actually chewing. And as soon as I did the the milk that got stuck it I heard it go bing and it was just jagging into the side of my mouth. And remember they gave you the wax that you put in there to help it a little bit yeah and i ended up just cutting up a pair of wire cutters and i go to the dentist and he looks at me he's like what happened i go i got you a milk dud he's like what the hell did you do that for i go oh, i hadn't had one in a while and i really wanted one so yeah. yeah did you get the color things that they would put in the brackets like the seasons like i would i would they put the orange black one but my mouth was like a lot worse because i had before i had braces they had to put a permanent retainer and the roof of my mouth, it was cemented in there, and you had to turn it with a key every <laughs> week, tighten it. Yeah, it was uh, it's pretty bad. That sounds fucking painful. It was every it, it, it like my mouth would adjust, but like for like the first day or two after a key turn, it was yeah. it was just that feeling of like I can't bite into anything because it just hurts like hell. It does not sound good at all. That sounds extremely yeah. painful. God, oh. Jesus Christ, the things they make us do when we're kids, huh? I know, right? I haven't been to a dentist in. Five years. Oh boy. I have dental be- parents too. I, I'm, I'm afraid to go to the dentist, but what they're going to find. It's only going to get worse, man. You should probably go. I know. I mean, it's the worst thing I ever did was I got a root canal five years ago last time. Last time I went to the dentist, they found that I had to get a root canal. And the dentist goes to me, he's like, it's either going to be $80 to pull your tooth or $1,500 for the root canal to save the tooth. So I, I did the root canal. And a year and a half later, the tooth fell out yeah <laughs> <laughs> i wasn't even done paying for the root canal yet and the fucking tooth fell out so yeah. I, should, I should have just got pulled for 80 bucks but probably no what are you gonna do fucking yeah. no i'm afraid to go because i'm afraid what they're gonna find but it's uh, they're only gonna find what do you think is gonna happen they're only gonna find worse the longer you pull it put it off and it's gonna cost more money it's yeah. not gonna get better you know 
I mean, it's gonna, I mean, I don't have to spend the money if I don't want to. I was just like, pull the teeth to get dentures. Imagine me having dent- dentures. Yeah, my dad only has like three real teeth left, but you would never know it. Yeah. Like, it's his, but it's like, that's awkward too, because it's a plate. So you have to take them out after you eat and rinse those, and like shit gets caught like seeds and shit under it. And... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my grandfather used to have them. He used to freak me out when he used to pop them out. I'd be like, holy shit. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Henry right now, who doesn't have any teeth, and he has his little gums. Oh, man. Wait till he starts teething and yelling and crying. He already is. It's, uh, oh, boy. He, he's sitting there. He grabs stuff and he chews on it to help the pain. Like he's pulling at my shirt. And he's pulling at like the, the rat, the, what do you call it? The, 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 the cloth to wipe his mouth cloth or whatever. Like that. He just chews. He uh-huh. wants to chew all day because he's in so much pain. No, like when your teeth hurt, you just want to chew and ease the pain a little bit. Yeah. That's basically what we're dealing with. He has no quiet moments. He's making noise nonstop. He not, the only time he's not making noise is when he's sleeping. Mm-hmm. An absolute oh. joke. Mm. But, uh, so yeah, this mustache is very bushy. It is. Look at you, dude. You, I've, I've never seen it so full, I don't think. So I, I, so I tried shaving. I was going to shave my beard off today and just keep the mustache. And uh, I went to use the electric razor, and I think it's done. I think it's I've, it's finally used its last time. So I have to – um. Oh, I, I, I'm pretty much going to give it one more shot tomorrow. It, what it does is it starts going and then gets jammed. I think there's like something screwed up in the motor. I think it just needs a new one. It's like five years old. So well, it's an electric one, right? What was that? It's an electric one, obviously, right? Yeah, those ones don't feel like they're designed to really – once it gets a certain length, you got to use something else. They're good for stubble and stuff. but. Yeah, and I have the adapter so I can I trim the beard down a little bit. It's not, it's, not, it's not the face razor. It's actually like a groomer. I think it's like a beard groomer. Okay. So it didn't get really, really tight. It only does like a, sh- did a little bit, and then I got to finish it off of a straight edge. So then I started doing it off a straight edge. You can actually hear it in the microphone. And I couldn't, the st- I used the, the disposable cheapo straight edge, and I, they, I was going through like one every four strokes because I couldn't cut the brush. So uh, strokes. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm, maybe I'll just keep it going, or maybe I'll, I, well, I really like a haircut. The barbers are closed, so I can't go get a haircut. And maybe I'll just. Maybe next time you see me, I'll literally just do a full shave. I'll just bick my head. I'm afraid to bick because I'm afraid the hair's not going to come back. Mm, I should. Have Sue cut it. See what happens. Like, I would do a wuffle. I would do, like, the going into the army cut. You know what I mean? Because at least there's still stubble of hair there. Yeah. I feel like I don't have a good shaped head for a bick, for a, for a full bick. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do about my hair. I can't just brought that up. I mean, I usually go to someone's house, but, like... They have kids, so I don't know how they feel. I'd have to ask them. Be like, can I still come over and get my hair cut? Maybe they come to your house. Then you answer the door, and, and a, is it a girl or a guy? It's a girl. I went to high school with her. Yeah, there you go. Hey, come over. Come no. over. <laughs> no, 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 no. I haven't seen a human in three weeks. <laughs> I do. I do. My age is like progress. Like I feel like for every day I'm aging like four months. Like I just look out the blinds and talk to the mailman. Like like an old person. I'm actually really I really enjoy my limit of communication with people. I'm not gonna lie. It's uh. It's great. It's, great. it's a vacation. Get ready though. I'm chomping at the bit for after a while. I'll do a little work. I'll go down. I'll sit on the deck. I'll look at the birds. You know, crack a bear open. Enjoy myself. You know, and no one's at home. Like Henry's at my mother's house. Sue's at work. I'm walking around the house with my bathroom. Yeah, that's great. On. Yeah, I could see myself living in an RV like the nomadic fanatic, just driving around the world, yeah. doing nothing, seeing no one, you know. Yeah, I feel somebody. Like, I feel like I do interact with people though, like uh, like on the Facebook, you know. Yeah, see, I, I find that toxic because I just read something that's just gonna piss me off, and I it's don't like want to see it. God. Yeah, but I but I don't like some people. I just walk away from it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I um, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll watch. Yeah, I I I haven't been contributing much to the Facebook, but I have been literally. Uh, I've been doing a lot of watching. Yeah. So I'll read people's posts. You know, some are negative, some are positive, some are just crazy. You know, but it's entertainment, I guess. Nevertheless. It is. Yeah. For mm. sure. I gotta tell you, I'm going to bed wicked early these days. It's like there's nothing to do. You know. No, I know. My 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 sleep patterns are great. I uh. Yeah, I'd say about I start to fall asleep around 11, 11.30. Yeah, you know? yeah. 
I'm even earlier than that. Like, what time is it? It's, uh, was it 9:24 right now? We'll probably close the show. Yeah, 10 o'clock in my bed. Oh, I know. I start to see. Uh, I've been over there, and I notice you start. You and Sue start to just. Here's the here's the graph. Yeah, <laughs> right now, I, I guarantee it. Having the studio yeah. in, like in a room that's like separate in the house where no one could see. It's like I'm by myself in this little my little. I feel like I'm in my like a room of my house when I was like of a teenager when I was a kid. Like this is my room. Like I can have yeah. everything. I can do anything I want in the walls in this room. I can do anything I really want to. Yeah. You know, because I'm not allowed to touch the rest of the house. I have, I have the basement, and I have a room upstairs. This is my limitation of uh, of territory in this house, which yeah. is fine, because then she's responsible for the bedroom and Henry's room and the hallways and the living room, the dining room, and the kitchen. So you know what? By all means, you you take responsibility for those rooms. And I'll have my little sanctuary. Yeah, this thing, like, this room's great. It's like, you know, this is awesome. I, 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 if I could, if I, you know, if I get the corona, I'll be isolated in this room. Yeah. So, yeah no, that's great. <laughs> It would be. No, I mean, I'm looking around my room. I, I, I'm, I don't mind being isolated in my apartment. It's just more so, and I don't like being around people, but I don't like not being able to be around people. You know what I mean? I don't like being told or felt like I am confined, even when I'm, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's more so the psychological effect of I can't be. You know, that's the annoying part, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> Though. I mean, do you really want to be around people? I think it's more, like I said, the actual, like, I can't be. That's what yeah. that's what bothers me, you know. And it would be nice to have a few interactions. I don't like you. You still have Sue. You still have Henry around. Yeah, you know. You still see your mom. I had I get way less now. I can't even see my mom. <laughs> so, oh yeah, she's still doing the thing where she has to go see her. her she's seen her uncle, my uncle. Yeah. yeah. So and she's terrified of getting something to give to him. I know, don't. So. Yeah. I mean, you got to be careful. I mean, they're. I mean, I'm even terrified of seeing my parents because they're in the, once you hit that age, that age uh, group, you know, you got to be careful. You know, God forbid I could pick something up at the bus stop, you know, and you yeah. give it to everyone, you know. Exactly. exactly. That's why I like, just want to limit my, uh, limit the variables of where I could, anything could happen, you know what I mean? If, like, if you limit the variables down, then you can kind of, you get a little peace of mind, you know what I mean? For sure. But, you know, all right, well, uh, Leave it at here. Uh, anything, All right, buddy. anything you're promoting or you want to, you know, put out there? Check out the whirlwind potato and everybody be safe. Whirlwind potato. I want to. I want to see. I want to see a thousand subscriptions and uh, ten thousand right. <laughs> uh, hours of viewing by uh, next show. That's a, that's my goal for your next show. Next show. Oh yeah. Right. All right. Week. So. <clears throat> By the All way, right, so. we got on this YouTube thing a little uh, too late too because I'm, I was I'm watching the old Nomadic Fanatica episodes, um, like seven episodes in, he or uh, I think it was like seventeen episodes in actually he was already at a thousand subscribers. Yeah, well I said that a long time ago. It's just uh, once you get into something, you got to start. Well, that well that's the thing. Like so like he, this was like 2013 he started. So like that's when people started. People were subscribing to that shit. You know what I mean? Like I feel like. It's tougher to get subscribers these days. I don't know. And ones that actually engage. I mean, you can get fake yeah. ones. You know. You get fake ones, yeah. You need ones that engage. So, But I just wanted to let them know. I mean, but uh, yes. Then check out the Wicked Explorers. Check out this show on YouTube at the Packy site. This and every episode is available on YouTube. And it's available on iTunes and on Spotify. So, <laughs> subscribe. Leave a comment. Subscribe. And, Subscribe to the Packy and the Wicked Explorers. It, it, you subscribed a lot. Oh, God. We're such nerds. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next week. Toodles. Bye. 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 Uh, and where is Skype? Skype is here. We are. There you are. I am right here, buddy. All right, brother. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, sleep well. Stay safe. All right. I right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and click the alarm so wherever you get notification, we get new ones. See you later. Bye.